Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make crispy okra that means kurkuri bhindi in India. It is a super crispy chips made from okra and it is super delicious also. You may see the crispiness of the okra and I am going to share some tips and tricks to make it super crispy and about the correct process of using the spices. So guys let's see the recipe. Here I have taken 100 grams of okra. I washed them properly and now I am going to wipe them with a cotton cloth like this to dry them a little. You may leave them for some time after washing in a strainer. The water will dry up automatically. So now I am going to cut them into pieces. I am removing the uh, stem part of the okra and now I am going to cut one okra into four pieces lengthwise like this. So guys it is done. You may remove the inner part that means the seed part of the okra. This part but it is not that necessary. We are going to deep fry them on low heat and they will be super crispy. So guys I have prepared all the okras cutting them into 4 pieces and uh, here are they. Now I am going to add some spices at first salt half teaspoon of salt I added and now 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder and half teaspoon of chili powder red chili powder and now I am tossing it. After mixing nicely I am going to leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Within this time the okras will release some water and the spices will be fixed on the okras. So I am covering the bowl and leaving it for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. After 15 minutes this is the texture. So much water is released from the okras that means actually mucus. They are very wet now, they are not dry now. So now I am going to add some besan. Besan means chickpea flour. I am taking 1 tablespoon of besan and 1 tablespoon of corn flour. So now we need to mix everything nicely again and after mixing nicely we need to leave it for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes again. Actually there should be no dry flour on the okras. Within the 15 minutes the okras will release some more water and the chickpea flour and corn flour will be fixed on them. After about 10 to 12 minutes this is the texture. The color of the spices are nicely visible now that means the flour is not dry now. So now we need to prepare our oil for deep frying. So keep it aside and go for the main process the deep frying process. We need a medium hot oil for this frying. So I am checking the oil. The oil is not so hot now so we need to wait for some time and within this time I am showing you our okras. So here are they. The color of the spices are nicely visible as you can notice that means they are not dry now. Now while frying the flour and the spices will not spread in the oil. So let us go for the frying and the oil is medium hot now as you can notice it is bubbling. The heat is on medium now and now I am adding our okras in the oil. I am going to fry them in two batches. So I am adding half of them. For the first one minute I am keeping the heat on medium and after frying for one minute on medium heat I am going to turn the heat on low and fry them until they are fully crispy. And this process will help you make them super crispy when they cool down fully. So after one minute I turn the heat on low and after that I fried them until they are very crispy. The color is also changed the color is light golden brown and now I am removing them from the oil. In the same process I am going to fry the rest of them that means the second batch of the okras. So I am adding them in the oil. I kept the heat on medium again and after frying for about one minute I am going to turn the heat on low and fry them until they are crispy. So guys in the same process I am going to fry them also. And all of them are ready. Still they are little hot. So I am adding some chaat masala. About 1 4 teaspoon of chaat masala I am adding. I added salt and chili powder before frying. So now we don't need to add so much spices. Only a little chaat masala is enough for it. I mixed everything nicely and now I am going to show you the crispiness of them. Can you hear them guys? They are really super crispy and spicy also. They are very delicious to eat with a little bit of sauce, tomato ketchup. You may enjoy your tea time with this kurkuri bhindi or you may enjoy them like this casually. 
So guys try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. Now I am going to take my certificate from my daughter. So guys let's go. Yes, I saw Raja. Yes. Yummy? Yes. Yes. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.